guys, welcome back, Anglis Fall here, and today we're back for some more Project Hospital. The last episode, what did we do? We did a lot of the, uh, we did a lot of the controlled doctor thing. We did, did we expand the labs or the radiology? I can't remember, maybe. We might have added in these two. Oh, I can't quite remember. We did a lot of um, tidying up, didn't we? So that we've got the cleaning things everywhere there. We've got cleaning toilets, everything. So yeah, we were doing stuff along those things to just make the hospital a bit more operational and a bit nicer for one staff and two the patients um we're doing pretty well how many patients are we get in a day we're, we're expected 72 patients a day so that's pretty decent what i did do was we set out our plan for our uh what is it observation in emergency see i've been sat here thinking about this for a few days now and i thought you know what? Do we re do we really want to do this? Because if we put this in, obviously we'll be observing people overnight. So therefore, we will be open overnight. So our opening hours will go from I can't remember where they where it's written. Oh, it pops up down here in this bottom corner, doesn't it? When um when we open at eight in the morning. But yeah, if we have this where we're open twenty four seven then all of this needs to be open 24 7 and therefore we and all of this and all of this and all of this and everywhere so we will need staff in there 24 7. that's going to cost a lot of money and obviously i've been looking at our finances so our finances we've got 34k sat in the bank at the moment we are spending 11,000 on wages night shift well let's say half that so we're paying five grand that's cutting into our um our um profits there so that would only take let's say that takes us down to about 14 grand maybe 13 grand a day so we're not going to be making huge amounts of money i'm thinking how can i make more money well look at this look at the or no rhino uh, e ent department they make us six and a half grand it costs us 1400 but we make a five grand profit a day and that's just from clinic. Two clinic rooms, two members of staff and a receptionist. That's it. 5k. So, why don't we open a general surgery, general medicine, orthopaedics, maybe not cardiology because that causes loads of problems, but neurology, not all infectious diseases because that causes um uh, its own problems in itself. Maybe not traumatology because we don't have anything set up, but we could do... What have we got? We've got... um, uh, Where is it? Urology, nephrology, maybe not oncology, gynecology sexual health um plastic surgery so we get one two three four five six seven eight eight times five thousand it's forty thousand that's gonna make us a heck of a lot of money a day i want to say i'm hoping but again we've then got to also take into account that we've only got one specialist thing at the moment so i think when you put more specialist things in it does kind of dilute your patients out so they kind of go into all of them so this one will be making less money but i think i think that's our better option i really do think that's the better option right now because um yeah it will make us more money but i'm thinking yeah let's get an internal medicine department in so yeah let's get ourselves what am i doing that's not what i want to do internal medicine so internal medicine office how big have we been doing these four by six so if we do a four by six there and a four by six there that's internal medicine not going to cost us a huge amount so we're not going to go for the hospitalization just yet we need a thing me waiting room um so how about we chuck you there and then we could put another one in the corner there and another one here and yeah that's not quite as big as i was expecting this area to be uh, we'll we'll figure this out. We'll figure this out. Um, yeah, because I kind of want all the reception-y things around here. We'll figure that out. But yeah, I think this is our play. This is very much our play. We need a waiting room as well, don't we? So yeah, how's about we do... How big is this area? Nine. Of course it's nine. <sighs> we'll do four that side. Yeah, we'll... <laughs> but yeah, I... Th yeah, this is the play. This is the play. There we go. Let's get some foundations in there perfect then what we do what, what 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 do we do what do we do we just done white we've just done white in all these offices haven't we no they don't want white do you you want some you want some nice flooring let's go with that go get some nice flooring there you go 
Right, walls. What had we done? We just done blue with two. Blue with two. There we go. Okay. Well, we shall do the blue with two. Yoink. Grab you. Do that. Blue with two stripes. And a blue with two stripes. There we go. What have we done? Two windows. Let's grab ourselves two little windows. Uh, on the inside. There we go. Yoink. Yoink. And then a door. Where had we gone? One that way. What had we done on the other side? Yeah, we'd done it there, hadn't we? So uh, let's just bring this down. There we go. That's better. That's easier to see. There we go. See that it's working. It will work. It will work. Right. Let's just do some shuffling of these things. So yeah, let's plonk you there. There. That's the one. Um, let's um grab some more benches. How's about like that? That. Like that. Like that. Excellent. Marvellous. There we go. At least we've got loads of benches. We'll get our info thing like uh, so. With a Q machine uh, right underneath it. Excellent. That's good. Right, let's get reception set up. So yeah, you know what? We're going to shuffle you to there. Uh, yeah. Oh, no, that's... What's that? I put waiting area. I didn't want waiting area. <laughs> Oops, reception. There we go, that's the one. Oops. Oops. I, I get there in the end, okay? I get there in the end. Right, well, show you there. That just looks <laughs> hideously bad, but it's fine. Totally fine, right. Honk you in there. What colour kind of chairs have we been doing? I don't honestly know what colour kind of chairs we've been doing. Uh, white, I think. Let's go. That's not right. White, please. There you go. Right, so we've got that set up. What do we need in these rooms? A uh, spirometer. What else we got? A uh, body somnograph. Okay. Uh, eye test, CRP scan and audiometer. Okay, so we've got four desktop things. Okay, so how do we set this up? I mean, we want the desk towards the back, don't we? So let's go office desk. How's about right there? There we go. Uh, where's the where's the chair? There we go. We'll chuck you a chair. Back to here. We'll grab you your PC. There you go. Then you're happy. And you can have a little printer. There you go. We'll chuck a seat in for the patient soon. We just need to get the bed and stuff sorted out first, don't we? But we've been going blue, haven't we? Okay, so you need to be able to access that end. Okay, so let's go medical light in a blue as well. There we go. Nice. Uh, hmm. Unless we move it to, say, there. Okay, yeah, then we can put stuff and things here. So how about we do a see-through office desk right about there with the spirometer. Hey. Oh, okay. Spirometer measures ventilation volume of inspired and expired air polysomnograph hey, we want one of them as well are they the same thing? they're basically the same thing huh well these include ECG EEG and EMG do you know what? Yep, yeah, you're having one of them as well <laughs> you just are except it's office you are having both of the above uh, where's the arrows? We'll chuck the other two things crp scan yoink and the audiometer yoink there perfect how about we chuck the eye test you you can go there but that's not particularly good. not great for the eye test is it but we'll, we'll go with it <laughs> it's right next to the um... <laughs> right disinfectant come here disinfectant there we go right, we'll chuck disinfectant there with the biohazard trash bin underneath. Excellent. And we need some equipment cabinets. So how about, what did we do? We did a tall one and a short one, didn't we? So how about a tall one? And I mean a tall one as in uh, there, open and closed. Yeah, there we go. Nice. And then how about, where's the comfy chair? Fancy chair in black. How's about there? A. A. That looks all right. We've got everything we need. Oh, whiteboard. Oh, can we do a chart board? There we go. You fit, you can't fit there. Can't fit there. 
You can't fit anywhere. No, we need a chart board. We need a chart board. Huh. Okay. So yeah, how's about we hit delete on that? And then we'll plonk you there. Not ideal, it's not great, but you know what? They've got a chart board. That is the important thing. We need a chart board involved, don't we? I think we're good. I think we are pretty damn good. Yes, I think so. So yeah, let's copy you, yoink, and plonk you down. How much is that? Five grand. Five grand for a room. But yeah, you know what? Look, we've got a whole new department. A whole new department. Um, did we not? Not. No, I haven't filled in that gap. Oh yeah, we need to maybe purchase that. What could we put in here? We could just loads of room, isn't it? Eesh. There's absolute tons of room. Ah. Well, I'm curious now. I don't know what to put there because that is a big old kind of corridor right there, isn't it? Big fat corridor. Again, we're going for roomy, so that's absolutely fine. We'll probably leave it as that. We'll put maybe some. Oh, yeah, we could do like a proper atrium where we could put some sofas and some books and, yeah, make it pretty. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Not today, though. Right, receptionist. Who do we have? So we want someone good at receptioning. Reception. Re receptioning. Patient care. What have you got? Scholar uses free time. Kieran, a halfpenny. A urine. And then in here, we want internal medicine. How about we grab someone with advanced diagnosis? You there. Diagnostic genius and rest assistance. Yeah, Russell Forsyth. You are expensive, but worth it. And then... Ooh, do we get someone... Eh. Eh. I mean, you are pretty damn good as well. And we'll get someone who's good boss to go in the other bit. Oh, you there. A diagnostic genius. Clean feet. Oh, you know what? You are actually going to be better. You're going to be cheaper. Um, you've got less internal medicine and stuff. But yeah, you know what? Advanced diagnosis. Yeah, you're in. Right, here we go. So do we do another department? I mean, we've probably got the funds for it, don't we? Because that cost us what? That cost us 15k? Do we risk it? I think we risk it. Let's risk it. Um, right, foundations. Let's get that, like, so, uh, 6 by 10. We need an 8 by 10, don't we? Yeah, there we go, right. Oof, oof, oof. Let's grab the balls, let's grab the balls, and then let's do a 4 by 6. That's not right. And a 4 by 6, there we go. Grab ourselves the floor, that same floor, let's make it look the same. There we go, nice. We could probably fit an extra room here. Oh, could have, yeah, we could have. Wow, we could have maximized space. It's all good. It is all good. We're fine. We're fine. Right, flooring. Um, we also need some white flooring to go along there, don't we? That would be handy. We also need some walls. Uh, so how about we grab you, take you along like that, yoink, yoink, uh, up here and there. There we go. We'll remove this a wall right there excellent looks a bit m bitty and messy but we're golden we are golden like i say we're going to be making hopefully some fat cash that is the plan there we go right oh and we need a reception area don't we so what yeah what are we actually doing do we do orthopedics general surgery not cardio i mean Neurology could be a handy one, couldn't it? Yeah, let's get neurology in. Let's do it. Neurology office. One right there. Yoink. One right there. Yoink. A waiting room uh, uh, like so. Excellent. And a reception. Like so. Hey. <laughs> hey. Oh, this is looking cool. This is looking cool. Okay, so we're going to be struggling for space so yeah we need to move this one back one don't we or do we move these guys back oh here lies the question okay right let's get to building a uh, building let's get to placing stuff in right that's about we do a yoink oh, i can't count properly so let's just do it like that there we go there we go nice info tv as per the others there we go and there we go excellent 
How about we get some reception thing working? Yeah, see. Oh, unless. Unless we do like one, two. Yeah, we could move these back one. Hmm. Yeah. We move these back one. Oh, we're in it now, aren't you? We move them back one. We can then have two there. We could have two here. Then we could have two here. So that's six departments. That's how many we're going to fit here. And then we do another reception up here. Yes, that's how we're going to do this. And I'll ponder this. See whether I can figure out how to get it to work. To get it to fit around like this. How big does reception need to be? Three by three. Well, now you tell me. Oh, good grief. Okay, so we could. Oh, yeah, that's that's for another day. For another day. That's uh, that's another day kind of problem, right? <laughs> she says. <laughs> right, what we'll do, we'll just buy that, that. We'll put a PC in there with a office chair uh, right there. Excellent. Right, we've got everything done. Now we need to sort out the offices. Let's do this one. Right, so what have we got? We've got examination lamp, eye test. Oh, but really nothing much. Well, these are going to have some sh fancy schmancy offices. Here we go. So you need a bed. So yeah, if we put the desk there, put the office chair there, the PC right there, the printer right there. Excellent. Then we need the bed. You can head right there. We can move you a long one. There we go. We can get some equipment cabinets. And how about you there? Oh, you need a sink. Oh, I didn't put any... No, I put disinfectants in these, didn't I? But you need a sink. Okay. Lab sink. There you go. Have at it. You want an eye test? How's about right there? Medical lamp uh, right there. Biohazard bin. Uh, uh, about right there nice uh you know what because we're caring oh no i was gonna put a sofa in there but i can't, I can't they're not in there they're not you can't find them can you well there you go you can have a chair there and then we'll put some little decoration so how about you have a bamboo plant right there next to the patient i quite like that um hmm. hmm you know what what we'll do we'll flip you around and then we'll come back to here where are we? No, we want to be in here. There we go. We need chartboard. Chartboard, yes. Oh, I do this to myself every time, don't I? Uh, right, we'll put a square glass table there. And then can we, a chance, get... Hmm, I'm going to put like... Um, uh, I was going to put like a coffee machine on there. You know what, if I click on the tea room like that, here we go, coffee machine, there you go, <laughs> you get coffee machines, uh, how's about we come back in here, can we, put, if we put this here, that, uh, no, it's not going to be able to be used, is it, no, delete that, oh no, wrong one, table, delete, I test, get back in there, okay, well you know what, I think we've done it, oh god, we've got no money, <laughs> We've got no money. Uh, no, I want to copy you. Boink. And plonk. Yeah, that was 4,200. Absolutely fine. Right, we're golden. Right, let's hire some staff. Receptionist. Ooh, you are a clean feet. Uh, Carol McHarg. McHarg. I did hire you, yes. And in here we want some... Let's go for Diagnostic Genius, Advanced Diagnosis even. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Let's reveal some hidden traits. Comforting, Diagnostic Genius, Hedonist. Dermaphobe and Pleasant. You know what? Graham Boland, you're in. And Jennifer Carter. We don't mind a bit of head. Yeah. There we go. You've got a coffee machine in there. I know it's not a food machine. But yeah, two new departments, and we're down to $3,000. I mean, it is what it is. Hopefully, we should reap the rewards of that. Everyone's going for a tea break. Awesome sauce. Right, let's speed time along, right? 
We're only, are we controlling any doctors? We're controlling Dr. Foll and that's it. I mean, that's fine. We'll, we will control Dr. Foll and then hopefully get it. Doc, doctors um, a rating above 95. That is what we're after. Oh, wow. This place is filthy. There you go. Get to it. Get clean. There we go. Clean. Oh, wrong diagnosis. Okay. What did we, I have no idea what we treated you for. Have some of them. Um, I mean, uh, stool analysis. Okay. Well, there you go. Uh, okay. Right. Darren Boland. Beef tapeworm to Boulder. Right. We need some of them. We need a physical exam, abdo exam, and we need a stool analysis, don't we? Where's stool analysis? Where are you? Stool collecting. There you go. Have that. Excellent. Right, he's going to disappear off. At least he's not feeling rubbish. We're having some physical exam, weight loss, diet modification. There we go. And then he'll go off for his thingy collection, stool collection. But yeah, look at this. Money, money, money. How is pharmacy going? We've got two people in pharmacy. We're golden. Yeah, they're making, they're making good money. Vomiting, fever, loss of appetite. Okay, physical exam, chest, abdo neck why not there you go good start good start and again they're feeling a lot better already chicken pox fantastic rest and antivirals a police look at this whizzing through people go home Ooh, ah treatment is not available rupture of the eardrum Ooh, have some antihistamines though um but yeah we're gonna have to send you away yeah we'll send away there you go. Get out of here. Nice. Interview. What we got? Central CPAP, sleep, physical exam, chest, abdo, speech listening. Because he's probably going to be depressed or something, isn't he? And we'll have insomnia show up from speech listening. With any luck. This is the plan. Okay. Physical exam did nothing. Yes. 500 experience points for all created characters. Well, that's awesome. <gasps> Reach attending level with one of your creative doctors. 50k government grant. Oh, look at the cash. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Uh, uh, speech listening. Oh, yeah. Long to the long reaction time. Uh, confusion. Okay. Pause for the briefest of seconds. Um, correctly diagnose patients of control mockers in specialist mode. Okay. Uh, how do we... Here we go. Change it to label pulsing hidden symptoms. Oh, God. Yeah, that's never a good thing, is it? We've got to do 50 of them. Holy bonanza. It's, uh, yeah, it's going to take a little while, right? Get out of here, you. Oof. What is it? Correctly diagnosed. Of course it is. Beef tapeworm. There you go. Have anti-helminetics. Get out of here. We're done one. Yay. Oh, that's going to take a while, isn't it? Do we have many people up here? Oh, we've got some. Hey, look. Neurology. Oh, no, what's, that's neurology and that's internal medicine. I mean, they're making us some cash. Um, recommend uh, da, da, uh, physical exam. Uh, and you know what? Uh, knee, shoulder, up oh, shoulder. What? Either your pain's in your foot or your bleeding shoulder. That's fine. What we'll do, we'll do lower limb. There we go. Go for that. But yeah, these guys aren't doing bad. Look at that. They're they're at least making their oh, uh, Siobhan. Yes, excellent. She's now an attending. Fantastic, Siobhan. Great work. 160? Yeah, they're paying their wages. 540. Uh, what? You've had a pelvic sonography. Why have you... What on earth? Cute myeloid. What have you had? Have you had blood draws? You haven't had any blood draws, have you? Let's get a... a nasal and oral. Temperature measurement thing me. Uh, how's about a blood draw? Blood draw. An evaluation. There you go. Have all of them. But yeah, look at that. 540. What else are we... How much money are we making? Make us the cash, people. No clear diagnosis. Okay. Kate Williams, you're disappearing. Uh, them. Oh, so this is in neurology. Okay. Hmm. We need an MRI. Ooh. See, an MRI would make sense. How much is it to make an MRI? Make an we will make an MRI machine. Pause for the briefest a second. How much is it for an MRI machine? Because we have a little spot right there. So if we go into radiology, build, 
Um, prefab rooms, uh, radiology. There we go. MRI room. 60,000. Going to help us because I'm then thinking orthopedics may be the next one. You know what? I'm going for it. I'm going for it. Oh, okay. We're going to have to rejig this a little bit. Um, hmm. Hmm. Yeah, so that takes us in via the technologist thing, doesn't it? Uh, ooh. I suppose we could... Yeah, if we do that, plonk. We'll uh, remove this. Doors. Remove doors. You and you. There we go. And then we'll just get them walking in through there. That's absolutely fine. So yeah, we'll do a double x-ray door like so. Yeah, there we go. Oh, wow. We've just bought an MRI machine. <laughs> love it. Absolutely love it. Uh, what have you got? Rest distance, fresh parent, long commute, dirty feet. Your rest distance and a night owl. You're a night owl. Oh, let's re-roll. Early bird, but could be late. You know what? Michelle Williamson, you're in. There we go. Right, no clear diagnosis. Let's have a look at him. Have an MRI. See whether that helps, right? Right, we were looking at money made up here, weren't we? Come on, show me the money. 220. 160. Yeah, they're making some fat cash. Here we go. Figure out what's up with him. Figure it out. Figure it out. Come on, come on. Yes. Yes. No. No. Anyone figuring anything out? 160. Nice. That was a very quick consultation. Brown Edmonds. What? How can we not tell the difference? Uh, what? Uh, more diagnostic laboratories. What? How about we do some laryngoscopy, physical exam, speech listening, measurement. Oh. Uh, oh, advanced laryngoscopy. Uh, maybe that needs to be in an actual in here. Where are we? In here. Oh, close that. Close that. In this department, END and ENT endoscopy unit. Ooh, one of them is going to be good. One of them is going to be very good because every time we struggle, don't we? I mean, do we put the more treatment rooms down here so we can get six departments here? So one, two, three, four, five, and six, maybe. Or six. Yeah, then we've still got a load of stuff. Oh, God, we've still got a load of stuff, haven't we? We're going to have to put them all the way along here. Oh, man. Okay, the plan may not quite be um working out nicely, but we'll, we'll figure this out. I'm sure we'll figure this out. I really should have shuffled these along, shouldn't I? Uh, I like having them opposite each other, though. Although, actually, yeah, we can fit out all the way along here with clinic rooms. And then we could do a couple of treatment things here. Hmm. Hmm. Mm hmm. Indeed, what are we doing? Maybe oncology here. This is all operating theatres. That's all thing me. This is ITU. So yeah, we could actually bring these down round here. These clinic rooms, can't we? And IT. This is going to be big enough for ITU. This whole area. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. No, no, no. We're fine. We're fine. They're making us money. I'm sure they're making us money. Um. Right. No clear diagnosis. Oh, uh, angiography. I kind of don't afford an angiography. Do we? Uh, let's build uh, prefabs and geography. No, that is no, that is not in there. We'll go somewhere else. There we go. Get somewhere else. Not that fast. Not that fast. Oh, we're clear down here. Look at that. My doctor's awesome source. No, no clear diagnosis. Really? You know what? I have chronic pharyngitis. Have at it. We'll, we'll try our luck, right? Eesh, right. Through Atkin. The MRI did nothing, right? <laughs> we spent 60 grand on you and it did nothing. Oh, man. Oh, what do we give him? What do we, what's the treatment? Corticosteroids, antibiotic, antibiotic. You know what? I have keratitis. We'll always try some antibiotics, right? Oh, x-ray. Ah, arm contusion. There you go. Have all of them. Hey, it's given us two. Woohoo! Woot! <laughs> I hear you say, 
We're a, we're a fellow. Hey, what a good old fellow. Um, no, we want advanced diagnosis, please and thank you. We're a fellow. A jolly fellow. Yes, fantastic. Oh wow, that is great. Some ice wrap yet? Get out of here. This is fab. This is fab. Three patients still waiting. Huh. Well, I was not expecting that. Um, X-ray lower limb. Hey, foot contusion. There you go. Have some numbing ointment. There you go. And get out of here. There you go. Perfect. Hey, we done good. We did 64. Oh, I've had to send a load away, but that's fine. Um, Three left. Oh, eight untreated. Oof. Um, Yeah, not bad. Nine untreated. Oh, no. No, no, no. But 18k. Okay, this is the point where we wait. Let's can we not skip? Let's skip along till midnight or whatever. Come on, come on, eight o'clock. There you go. Right. Uh, idle rooms one. Idle rooms. What is idle? Uh, low. No. What is idle? None. Oh, the emergency room. Huh. Huh. Low, medium, critical. Oh, overnight because someone was left here overnight. <laughs> medium and high, okay. Medium on two of them. Medium, low, excellent. Medium, yes. Okay, we're looking good there. Right, let's speed forward till midnight. Let's see what our budget has been for the day. Don't get me wrong, we earned 50k from doing our, what do we call it? And yeah. Let's see, let's see. Let's have a look. Yesterday's budget, please and thank you. 16k. So, what's that? Internal medicine, 100... Oh, God, 163. Okay, not quite. Neurology, 2,200. Okay, so it does kind of separate out in amongst all of them. But is giving us the potential for more. And again, we had lower payments, didn't we, for the day? 10% lower payments, so 10%. So we may be made about 18 grand. I mean that's not bad is it that is not bad at all and look at the building yeah oh yeah and we've got an mri machine we've got ourselves an mri machine so i'm very very happy about that oh exciting exciting again yeah that was down wasn't it is that oh no that was up okay 12 19 16 19 okay okay uh. 15 we've added four grand to our wages of three grand to our wages you know what i think we're not in a bad position at all i think once these guys start um really making some money we should be looking good again once we can um get more and more here we will yeah we'll add so much more to money to the pot but yeah i think that is the perfect opportunity to hold it here because yeah let's just get to the morning there we go get it to daytime there we go perfect idle rooms 27 critical workload always always with the critical workload but yeah we've added a nice couple of clinics in here i really like how they are looking i'm loving how we're just getting people around we do need to shuffle this around and sort this out because this is a weird and ugly mess but we are looking pretty decent over here so yeah so that's a uh, clinic rooms new clinic rooms love it but yeah if this has helped you um comment away um tap the like button if you've enjoyed if you've liked the video and yeah if you haven't already hit that subscribe button so you can come back for more adventures of in our hospital yay but yeah i'll catch you on the next one where we probably open up even more clinic rooms and we will get to emergency we will we will get to the emergency i'm just not ready to open 24 hours yet but yeah i'll catch you on the next one Good folks